Let's talk a little bit about the zoom functionality. In Magic there's a great option called zoom, which allows the user if he double clicks on a column or presses F5 on that column or clicks the little zoom icon at the bottom right, open up a selection window. Okay, this is a functionality that actually I liked about Magic and as you can see we maintained that as part of the migration. We call it in .NET expand. Okay, so whatever you used to refer to as Zoom is now called Expand. Let's have a look at it. First of all, the one thing that I didn't like about the Expand functionality is that the user never had a chance to know that this field is expandable. He was expected to have a look at the bottom right to see if there's a Zoom indication over there, and that I find non-user friendly. So to do that, we added a small property to every text box. It says, let's have a look. We go to the property sheet, and we see the expression called show expand button. By setting this to true, whenever the user will park on a field that allows zoom, he will get a small indication, okay? Knowing that then he can select a value from a selection window. Next thing I would like to do, I would like to create my own selection window over here and attach it to this control. So first, we'll go over to the customer ID type and remove the existing expand functionality. Okay? And then, we'll add our own to the column itself. So, when we select a control, we can switch over to the properties sheet, the event tab, double click the expand event, and add our own or logic here. For instance, let's just give a message box, test. And voila, we've got that message box. Now, one of the things that I didn't like when in, in the structure of Magic is that when you ever, whenever you needed to create a selection screen, you had to create an uh, endless number of selection screens yourself. Okay, because the way Magic is designed, where you can only decide in development time the tables that you're running on, the columns that you have, or the controls you're going to have on the screen, you had to create a selection screen for every table or create complex multiple selection screens that really were just too complex to maintain. But once you're in .NET, Everything is dynamic. Everything can be created on the fly. So we can now replace this message box with a dynamically created selection screen that we can later adjust and enhance according to our needs. So let's just do that. We want to select from the customer's entity. So we'll say, we'll first of all choose it. Models.customers. Next, we'll go to env utility selection screen dot show. And we'll give it the parameters that we need. So we want to select the controller orders customer ID. We're going to give it the customer entity. The value column is the customer customer dot code. Sorry, ID. And the description column, I can choose whichever one I want, but I can say, okay, customer dot company name and customer dot contact name and the selection screen will generate the proper UI for me itself. Let's run it and see what we've got. So here we are, we park on the customer ID column and we click the selection screen, we get a selection screen that was generated on the fly according to my requirements. Now this is great because you can take this code and adjust it to your needs, enhance it as much as you like and have a wonderful user experience that you can yet later provide to your users but only making changes in one place. You don't have to write many, 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 many selection screens. You can write one uh, which will be dynamically generated and reuse it all across your application.